Election processes in Zimbabwe have always been subject to intense contest amongst political parties ahead of any election. 2023 has not been any different. At the center of the disputes are the delimitation report and the voters rule, which the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission has been accused of refusing to release. We have traveled this road before and we traveled again. Join me, Atricia Gondo, on this The Road to Elections in proud partnership with Conrad Adenia Stiftang as we travel this bumpy road asking the questions that matter. Join me after this break. The heartbeat of the Zimbabwean electoral system is the voters' rule. This is the map which shows who and where from which one will be able to cast the ballot. The voters also allows those seeking political office to know who to target in their campaigns and drafting their message. This is why the voter registration blitz opened by ZEC was such an important aspect for the political players. Uh, yes, we were supposed to bring the exercise to an end today, the 21st of March, but uh, by, for want of a better term, popular demand, uh, we extended the, 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 the blitz to the 26th of March. Uh, yes, we had technical issues here and there, but these have been addressed, and so far I'm quite happy with the reports that I'm, I'm getting from, uh, from all the four corners of the country. Yes, challenges will always be there, uh, technical, human, and everything. So, but as of as of now, uh, the main one was related to power supply and so forth. But uh, again, we have been able to to to, to reconnect uh, using solar and in some cases reverting to to, to generators. But of course, uh, looking ahead, we are very pleased that. Uh, uh, 
there's an announcement by 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 Zesa that his Excellency the President will be commissioning uh, Wange 7 and uh, this can only be good news to us uh, so that by the time we hold the, the harmonized elections uh, at least issues of power will not be there uh, electricity but again let me emphasize that we do have backups we've got gas cylinders we've got solar power so we will make sure uh, generators like that is uh, so we will be we will make sure that uh, uh, everything is in place to make sure that we come out with a uh, uh, almost uh, flawless uh, uh, electoral uh, process. Uh, the voters' role, of course, is the key document in the, in the whole electoral uh, process. What I would want our listeners to, to appreciate and understand is that uh, it is a live document. What do we mean by that? Uh, people are registering every day. It's a continuous process. Our law allows our citizens to continuously register, whether they are by-elections or harmonized elections, no, our uh, law provides that citizens can continue to register, to transfer their awards or constituencies, uh, that is it. And then of course people, are, uh, people also pass on, so we work very closely with the uh, Registrar and General's Office uh, to update our, our, our voters' role. But when it comes to the uh, actual harmonized election, as soon as His Excellency has uh, uh, made the pro proclamation, we are going to have, uh, 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 for the purposes of, of the elections, uh, uh, voter registration will stop two days after the proclamation. Why do we do that? So that we allow ourselves the opportunity to clean up the voters' role and remove dead bodies, make sure that uh, uh, we also give our people the opportunity to, uh, to inspect the, the voters' role so that by the time we actually conduct our elections, there is no uh, dispute or, 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 or challenge or questions about the integrity of the, of the voters' role. Yeah, of course, being taken to court is not a, a small thing. It's something that obviously worries us. We think it becomes a sideshow. But uh, our prayer is that uh, uh, the courts in their wisdom will determine whatever it is in, in, in sex favor. That is my prayer. That is our prayer. The prayer of sex. Beyond that, I cannot I My prayer is that we don't come to that. Uh, because uh, uh, right now, in my very civilian mind, I don't see anything that will stand in the way of us holding the elections as soon as the, 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 the president has made the proclamation. I don't see anything standing in the way of us holding elections. It's very important. Uh, any incoming government, any incoming councillor draws his or her legitimacy from the outcome of this process, of the electoral process. So uh, we never think in those negative terms Exactly, we accentuate the positive. Yes, we, we, we in the unlikely, very, very unlikely event that we, 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 the elections are postponed, but we don't plan for that. Uh, that ZEC is working tirelessly to make sure that this the integrity of the, our elections is beyond any reproach, uh, appeal to our people through their respective leaderships to, to remain peaceful uh, so that uh, each and every one of us is able to uh, exercise their democratic and constitutional right to elect their leaders at various levels from what right up to the highest office in the office of the of the, the president. So let's uh, let's 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 be patient. Uh, let's uh, if we have put any doubt as to what is needs to be done, they uh, ask you visit our offices and distributions offices now. We've got about uh, 68 of them now that we've established and of course our 10 provincial offices. Please feel free to go there and those who want to check on the status of their, of, of, of their registers, you can uh, go to our platform uh, star uh, 265 hash and you dial and you follow the instructions and you, you keep yourself abreast as to the status of your, of your register. But be assured that we, we, are going, we are doing everything that we can to make sure that uh, we come out with an electoral uh, uh, process that pleases everyone.
Yes, yes. Uh, in fact, I think the figures that I have uh, for uh, for yesterday, uh, we had breached the 200,000 mark, I think so. Uh, so we hopefully that by by 26 March, when we, we bring the lease to a close, uh, hopefully we will have achieved uh, about 60 to, uh, to, to, to 70 or 75 percent of our expectation. We were uh, we, we, we were estimating that maybe we should be able to register uh, up to 400,000 or something like that. But uh, yeah, we hope, we, we pray that we'll be able to reach our target. But uh, uh, we are quite pleased. In some areas, people are not turning up, not because they, uh, they, there's apathy, no, it's because they are already registered. They are, they, 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 they are satisfied with the allocation of the whether they eat what the position is. So, yeah, we, we, we are quite confident that we, we, will, we have give, uh, given everyone uh, an opportunity to register or to transfer their, 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 their vote. No, 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 no. There, there's no need whatsoever to register. If you are registered, uh, you, you are registered with captured you. Like I say, you can check your status on, the, on, the, on, on our platform star 265 hash whether it's echo network or network but please if you are registered there is no reason whatsoever for you to register again delimitation has nothing to do with the uh, uh, the, 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 the boundaries that are, that are coming up whether be they want a uh, constituency and so forth uh, they, they don't affect your your, your your status as a registered voter. so please don't, uh, don't, don't, don't you don't have to re register uh, but we, we are always free to, to transfer uh, from one ward to another, from one constituent to another. That is your freedom. SEC listed nearly 5,000 centers it opened to allow potential registrants a chance to have their names on the biometric voters roll ahead of the polls. A process which Zan PF is happy with, but as always is painful to the opposition, especially Triple C, who have been riding on campaigns by civil society to get people registered to vote. Oh, it has been a breeze. Um, I'm from Mashonan and West. I'll speak specifically because I'm the team leader in Mashonan and West. Uh, I can tell you that ever since the president gave a moratorium for the national for the issuing of ID cards and simplified uh, the process. Uh, the candidates from our party in particular, they've been busy uh, you know, going out to the communities, finding out who needs to be registered and facilitating in, in whichever way they can. And the response has been phenomenal. There has been a marginal increase of almost 200,000 voters in Mashola and West. And uh, we are confident that these are supporters of the party. They will make a big dent against the Triple C as we go to the national harmonized elections. We are extremely um, uh, confident that if those people are registered, we'll be able to win Zimbabwe for change. Obviously, what's a little bit disheartening on our part is the inefficiency on the part of ZEC. They don't have enough machines. They don't have sufficient power backup. Uh, they don't have enough um, uh, you know, administrative things to make sure voting slips, voter um, proof of residence slips, to make sure uh, that everybody who does come to register comes. And so we've obviously uh, asked for an extension. We've also asked for the hours of registration to be expanded. And we've also asked for ZEC to start on time. You know, you can't start pitching your tent at 9 o'clock when voter registration should have started at 7. And we've seen that, uh, you know, across the country. We've also had a challenge with uh, ZEC officials demanding a letter from headmen, especially in rural areas where they're saying can I snap in your one subbook or one second register obviously uh, that's unconstitutional the law says you all you have to do is to fill out an affidavit says that says that you're uh, able to register to vote and you proceed on that. There are hiccups uh, we understand this is the age of solar sometimes their machines are of solar and there can be challenges but look you know we still think that uh, ZEC will still measure up to the requirements uh, we don't see in them any bad spirit. They have every intention to make sure that they capture as many voters as can be. Uh, there are mechanical hitches, but ways can be found, and they will sure find a way and make sure and, and ensure that as many voters as can be are captured 
before the closure of the voting day of the registration day, which is two days after the announcement of the election date by His Excellency, after the proclamation of the election date by His Excellency. I mean, you know, we don't expect a, a constitutional body that's got such an important task to have machines that break down. Uh, on day one, what kind of a machine is this? Why can't they get functional machines? It's just printing out a slip. We expect them to have BVR kits that work, that are you know uh, designed to do the job that they're supposed to do. They should be heavy duty machines. Obviously, we 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 know that sometimes there is voter suppression. We don't want to go that far and accuse them of that, but we do insist that voter registration machines must work. You can't have them all dying. Within the first two hours of day one, you've got all the machines dying. That can't be uh, the way an election is run. It actually puts into question their preparedness even to run the election if they can't just register voters as is their job. We have had incidents here and there where people have abused uh, the law and order system of this country. We have heard that in one, in some cases, voter uh, officials have been manhandled. Uh, we appeal to our party membership to desist to that kind of behavior, you know, and to make sure that they take heed of the president's call to say we want a peaceful, harmonized election without any shred of violence. Their leader has spoken, and if their party members they have every reason, every reason to take it, the president does not want any violence. And any member of ZANU-PF who does violence, he is out of step. The police should arrest him, and he should find his way to the, to, to, to the courts and be duly fined if need be. We will not tolerate violence as a party. And we also equally appeal the same to the other political parties. After all, we are all Zimbabweans. There is no, there is no political party. There is no sun for a political party. There is no rain for a political party. There is no breathing air for a particular political party. We all share the same air. We all drink the same water. We all uh, share the same sunlight. So why, why, why the heck should we fight over an election outcome? In our day-to-day -day activities, we never fight. So why would elections be a, a cause to fight? Absolutely no reason. Uh, of course, violence has no place in a constitutional democracy. And even if this violence was between ZANU-PF members, we're concerned. Because that's not the Zimbabwe that we want, where, you know, ZEC officials are afraid to register people because they'll be beaten up by ZANU-PF. But it tells us one thing, that ZANU-PF is running scared. They know that they can never win a free and fair election in Zimbabwe. That's why they're resorting to beating up ZEC officials who are simply doing their job. That's the only language that ZANU-PF knows. They don't know about winning hearts and minds. They don't know about selling their policies. They don't know about bringing the people around and persuading them and delivering. Uh, they know that they failed and the people are angry, and that's why they're resorting to beating up not just ZEC officials, but even voters, forcing them, shutting down Badimsik and saying, everybody, fog march to go and register to vote. That's not how you win an election in a constitutional democracy. And as President Nelson Chamisa said in the agenda address last year, ZANU-PF is planning to rig. We are planning to win. We know that the people know who their leaders are. The people love leaders who care about them. People love, uh, you know, people who can, leaders who can put the citizens first, the welfare of the citizens first and deliver on it. And ZANU-PF has failed. The record of hyperinflation, 49% extreme poverty, broken down hospitals, potholes, every, all of that, uh, all of those are the fingerprints of ZANU-PF's failure, and the people, frankly, are fed up. The information around the voter registration blitz reached majority of potential registrants. But however, the blitz has not been without its challenges, much to the concern of those who were met with frustrations during the process, while others were extremely happy. Yeah, I think it's been publicly made available on all social medias and platforms. Yeah, I think we are away. Wongu, process here to here. Definitely I'm aware that there is a voter registration bliss that uh, should be taking in place for the next 10 days. Yes, I do. I register voter. 
I registered in 2018. Yeah, 2018. I did register myself. I did register. In any international register, I think I register G. Nezuro Chae Chae. No Pandaga register. In any now, I guarantee a registered voter. But in the mobilize I'm a very sneaky to say, what pin of Chumchurung, which you are going to register to a vote. In the register. I'm already a registered member, yes. Because it's very important to register your name, your ID. Yes. You need to be registered to be known as what was done in census. Well, definitely yesterday I managed to transfer my vote from Avondale to Warren Park due to this uh, open window of uh, the voter registration blitz. The biometric registration introduced and first used in the 2018 elections has been credited by elections experts for cleaning the voters' roll to some acceptable level as compared to the shambolic one once kept by the infamous Tobaiwa Mdidi. Although complaints and concerns remain, especially around ghost voters, many appear charmed. <laughs> Effective, but but I have po pango ane mshina one or why go through why do why it out is very slow, but it's very fast. Yeah, very effective. But um, ah, in one ano kwa sakungo zita. Since there's no such thing, so kuti zine kanguka kuri ma kano kuti ngwe kwa wanda kutuje se uzite. Eh, saka it's an advantage in the zino zita o process ajo kuti zite se ngwe easy. Biometric, you know, very, very effective. So, I was the previous election and the dreadful sense of this election in Ruya is a very effective. The last time I voted, it was working well in terms of the speed, but now with uh, electricity and power cuts, I don't know whether that will affect and they might have a backup generator or something, but I'm sure it should be fine. Yeah, biometric is very important in the terms of. Authenticity, yes, authenticity of bio, and uh, bio is very important. Because uh, Kurara Magwata Kuitaka with this modernization, Kanakuti Mamiri Wakaita ICT, Regeza Titi, anybody can play with or manipulate the whole system. Obviously, we are facing certain challenges because uh, besides be having been uh, a, 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 vote, a registered voter, the problematic is that uh, we find uh, the, the ZEC officials are uh, delaying in uh, you know, registering the would-be uh, voters or would-be registered voters. So the time span that is being taken to register goes up to more than five minutes which is a problematic so we feel that they should have increased the, the number of uh, their officers at each and every voter registration station because so my own opinion Ah, uh, as Yes. The second thing is the issue of uh, the uh, identity documents. If you realize that in rural areas, they've managed to dualize the process whereby you have got both the, 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 the officers undertaking a registration of uh, identity documents at the same time, at that particular center, they also just proceed to get registered as would-be voters. So we feel that they, this must be done at national level rather than, you know, uh, putting it in silos on certain brackets and in particular areas, leaving particularly the urban areas without that particular attention. Zek had only planned a 10-day blitz in a country where an estimated 3 million people are yet to be registered to vote, a position many felt was unfair. After hitting a number of challenges and also being overwhelmed by numbers of registrants, the electoral management body extended the blitz.
munuweza zina kwanza kubata 10 days zizi acha zoezi roma zuo vano bata kushika pa 31 akazokundika na nenge kundika na hake ishoma cha hizo because vana vana ku register vano vazhinji they don't understand a reason ye ku register or even reason ye ku vota they don't understand saka problem iripo ndiye kuti awareness inofana ku yakato simba zvekuti vano vanozia kuti tikange tichino vota what do we intend to achieve? What do we intend to gain? Can I get a vote? Ah, I think it's really right. If we want to go ten days, we are going to register. I don't think the, the ten days are enough. Why? Because uh, this uh, this uh, country or this uh, nation state is now founded on uh, informal sector economy, whereby most of the people have to wake up and uh, you know. Uh, make sure that they've got bread on their table in order to feed their families, which means that during the week from Monday to Friday, they won't be able to do so. Some of them can only get uh, the opportunity, especially those who are in formal employment during the weekends. So in other words, we are saying that only those who are unemployed and who are not, do, not doing anything have got the opportunity and the potential to go and get registered. But for those who are in employment and for those who are fending for their families, we have to wake up early to get uh, to work. They cannot be able to, to do so. So there's need to, uh, to extend the period in order to cater for those who might not have the opportunity to do so during the week and uh, during the weekends. Kwandiri ndora unge zirishomo Nukuti Sandaka wana kwandai wa Kune wanga kwa wanda Weda kuru kuru register Wanga wanga ni machallenges Wanga uzu wato tayo wa Nua unachitu upa kana waji Kudayo Zotu wai kona utu uso fambiraji Zime zinu wo Woso zoka futu wa register Sala mazi wanga 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 Shoma because Eee and I think one of the tumbo tango was a chaka koshira kore jesa jaju. Because wakam go zisa kana ziri ten kana fifty ka puna surgu zia kuti zaka num koshiri mangwana apa na saka I think to ti it face mufa na matumbo ti zizi sao because mayuti ya sunya zoziwa advantage iri muku ti muno kwanza kuge uni choice ya kubaguda se ba vuri. Uh, I'm not too sure in terms of the demographics, but for Harare, a lot of people, they hustle. So they wake up in the morning and come back late. So maybe including weekends might be helpful in just including more of the centers where you can actually register. But 10 days, I think, might not be enough. They are not enough. They need to be counted. And as long as you get into the people, if everyone must be counted and known in the voter registration. Ten days is, I think, it's more than enough. Because if we are going to be challenged, we are going to be able to get to the next step. We are going to be able to get to the next step. But for ten days, we are going to be serious. We are going to be able to get to the next step. As the program was rolled out, a number of challenges were faced. Breakdown of equipment, power shortages, and also running out of stationery. Zek itself acknowledged the challenges in various statements. These also influenced his decision to extend the blitz. <laughs> Ah, kwete apana. Apana ni mbozo uti wakayenda. Kushida unwa regis. Asuna kutuwe la time ya kuti. Uno suto shika sometimes ba kutuwe ta gifa poto yenda. Because time ya waru kutuwe la wangu wacho. Sune u slowness ya wana. In some areas. Pataka mbufu uta. Intimidation. Ndoo inu ita kutuwe anu wajinji. Wasade kuenda kunu vota ah inini pane zvanata ura hangu majalanji ndo anata ura ya utiji wari slow mbijani ndo chokutanga the same challenges absence of identity documents and the failure to get senders to do so and also the frustration by the ZEC officials in terms of the time span because you don't want to spend more than 10 minutes there you've got other things to do chechi piri Pane mangwe maituro anoita wanuwe zeki asinakudi 
as in Aguna, Gavano de Lea, Bijana. You didn't die to die right in Ziji, pass station. Mopo attack it, you didn't pass one of an out fifty one can hundred. No, the you want to go, did you go to Tamira five? You did the Because what happens is a Unogona Garoz or Gunzi, Changataka Garpas Bimuta, all of their cameras. So at the end of the day, So if you if you want me to spend 30 minutes, one hour waiting, it means uh, you, 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 you are chewing my time. That should be uh, be productive. So they must improve. Like what I said, the recommendation will be increasing officers increasing the, the, the number of days where people will have to be uh, to get registered and also ensure that uh, their senders whereby people can uh, quickly get their identity uh, uh, documents uh, so that they are able also to, to join uh, the other uh, registered voters and uh, be put on the voters form. It's not that free is what it is said by my newspapers or by my radio or by my TV. It's not all that free. Because we are going to have a lot of people. We are going to have a lot of people. We are going to have a lot of people. We are going to have a lot of people. We are going to have a lot of people. We are going to have a lot of people. We are going to have a lot of people. We are going to have a lot of people. We are going to have a lot of people. We are going to have a lot of people. We are going to have a lot of people. We are going to have a lot of people. Not only that, we are going to visa. We are going to be able to register. Challenges are there. We have got old people, young people, middle age, and some who are not being connected within the system. Yes, we need them to be connected. Those are the challenges. Uh, for people that have lost their IDs, it's a bit difficult to get a new ID. So the more places where you can get a replacement ID, I think it would be more effective as well. For many, registering to vote is a way to get a voice. It's the only avenue that allows them to hold those in power accountable. Politicians are very understanding and humble people during the campaign season. They can kneel in the dirt wash plates for the elderly, and even work the fields of the electorate just to get that vote. Uh, when you register to vote, you are putting the people that you think are capable of running things and being able to deliver. So I'm hoping that I can vote for a person who's going to be accountable and that we can measure in terms of development from the time they are in office to the time they leave office. Allegiance to my country. Yes, I need my country to go, to grow. How do we, does it grow? It does grow because of the young people and the old, and as we go ahead like that. Yes, we need the society to grow. Our economy, we need to, to, to grow. In the vote, I was in the 2018-2019, when I was in the vote, I was in the vote, I was in politicians my vote means a change Second, the government is not going to vote. If you vote, you will not be able to vote. I will not be able to vote, but I will not be able to vote. 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 Vote. Apa ngono blaze ocean ngono vote itu di ruai tira. Saya ni 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 aku tinjau ni tinjau dream or something. Saya tu kuzo tu. After kan orang cuma ni mdo no angun ni si si si. Wanu suci saya. Wanu zinguacirara mui better life than ni andrugara ramana as because of this and this and this. 
Shini mo vendi zamani zina mbele mo bilaza mo dawa no vota kana juu ni no vota is we are there to defend our sovereign nation. Tiripo watu cheke ni Zimbabwe yaka ruiru ni ma ni ma ni ma wakuruvedu bakati sira naka kadi fa na ku preserve kuzwa ma shule medu ofuti wambe wachitera ni naka yeyo sa tenge se nika yedu sa kavu mo wese ake na kare juu sa rano no vota vote wisely patu kwenye pa next election. Plaster tambour of foot at this of Bavanza, Zimbabwe is bad, Zunas Nagumira Mus Saga to cut off what over Musa Miris or Ganak. I need to be motivated out in the one when she registered for Taka and out in the year and went no for Taka. In Yama Mirra Gaita and Nika Kamomira Gaita Zaguna Mabas at Square Taka Gara, Tisitamba Tisitandara, Sunusa Saga. Sometimes Nongo Neos or Nongo Juanos. Sometimes in Saka changes, or family to win it, as no gun and changes, or I don't got my hopes for a better future, for a better tomorrow, and I go to tomorrow. Say just our foot. A general in Nanga Chang, General de Register, in the dark guard of said Kwang, in the end Denzara, Pandiri, Nogumuriango, and Denzara and Matambu Zikon, those not on the ridges, and Indica Forta, Jana Kukutakana Wana Bassa. Kundizo kutandenga nda wana basa. Nda senza basa nda digitira. Nda pia kwa mkwewe kangu kwa shoma shoma yi kakwa ya juwane muri. Nda kwanza kwa kira muri yangu pia kukara. I won't lie. Uh, the current situation, the economy, our inflation uh, uh, being beyond, uh, you know, 300%. Uh, people are not getting jobs, no employment, no industry. Uh, the agriculture is down. Uh, it's, uh, it's for the few. Uh, stolen diamonds, stolen other minerals, you know, uh, corruption all over, lack of transparency and accountability, uh, access to education, no uh, infrastructure development roads down, everything, everything is upside down in Zimbabwe. So I'm voting for change. I'm voting to make sure that this country can go back to where it was in the 80s, whereby it was a breadbasket of Southern Africa. So I'm motivated by those factors. I'm motivated by those problems. I'm motivated by that crisis to ensure that Zimbabwe gets to a better place where it should be, not where we are, whereby we are now being labeled a banana state. We can't have that. That's the reason why I want to vote. Voting as a right is the only tool available for citizens to play an effective role in governance. When citizens shun the ballot, they surrender their future and ability to determine how they are governed. Many have come to understand that not voting is the new voting. When you don't cast your ballot, you have voted to allow others to decide your future and that of your kids and kin. Thank you for joining me, Atricia Gondo, on this, The Road to Elections, here on HSTV News in proud partnership with Conrad Adelian Stifton. Until next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe on our pages for more exciting and informative content.